I'm Gary Harper on your side. October is National Estate Planning Month. It's a good reminder that if you don't have a trust or will, you should probably start thinking about getting one and soon. But what's the difference between a trust and a will and how much do they cost? That's what we're talking about on the On Your Side podcast. Don't think you need a will or a living trust? Think again. Almost everyone should have one regardless how much money you have in the bank. Kind of tell us what is a will and then we'll jump into what is a trust. A will is, it's the workhorse of your estate plan. It's the one document that I think most people intuitively understand. Mitch Mitchell joins us on the On Your Side podcast. He's with the company called Trust and Will, which of course specializes in estate planning. He says most people have the misconception that they don't need a trust or will because they're not wealthy, but that's simply not true. Every adult should have one because even if you don't have immense wealth, you will leave something behind. Um, it might be just personal property. Personal property like a house, a car, or even items with an emotional attachment like dad's golf clubs or maybe grandma's rocking chair. They all need to be put in a will or a living trust. But you have a chance to say, who do I want this family heirloom to go to? If you don't do that, then there are some default rules. Uh, it might be split amongst your family in a way that you don't necessarily want. But is having a trust even better than simply having a will? And if so, how much can you expect to pay for one? You can find it all out on the On Your Side podcast. I encourage you to listen to the entire podcast because there is a lot of information, information I didn't even know about. And if you want to listen to it, it's easy. Scan the QR code, takes you straight to the podcast, or of course, just go to wherever you download your podcast and you'll find On Your Side there as well. I'm Gary Harper, On Your Side.